the ukulele. It's an iconic part of Hawaiian culture, and in the hands of a skilled artist, you can create blissful music. Still learning. I'm Todd Nagata, and this is the American Dream Hawaii. Aloha friends, we're here in beautiful Waikiki at the Hawaii Ukulele Festival. Today we're going to enjoy everything the festival has to offer and later we'll meet one of Hawaii's top ukulele artists. Let's get started. Waikiki is best known for its world famous beach, but it's also home to some amazing cultural festivals and events throughout the year. 2023 marks the first annual Hawaii Ukulele Festival. It carries on the tradition of another summer festival of a similar name and shares the ultimate goal of preserving the celebrating this cherished piece of Hawaii's culture. This festival is perfect for a day with the family. Fun activities for the kids, popular food and drinks like the famous Sugar Daddy sugarcane juice, and lots of music from talented artists for everyone to enjoy. We're here with Amy Hammond of Special Events Hawaii. Thanks for being with us today, Amy. Aloha. So, it's such a beautiful festival. What inspired you to organize this event? Well, a few years ago, I wrote a children's book called The Magic Ukulele, and I uh, was able to put that book out, and I saw what joy it brought to children, the, the magic of the ukulele, actually. And um, I'm also a large event planner, large-scale event planner, and so I thought that this would be kind of a wonderful pairing of my two worlds. Amazing. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. It's a great day for fun, food, and great music. Speaking of great music, let's go meet one of today's performers. We're here with international recording artist Jody Upoi Kamisato. Hey! Jody. What's up, Todd? How's it going? Thanks for joining us today, man. So tell us about the ukulele and how it became such an iconic part of Hawaiian culture. Well, the ukulele actually came from Portugal. So it was brought from the Portuguese immigrants to Hawaii in 1879. And the Portuguese played so fast that their fingers looked like jumping fleas. So okay. in Hawaiian, uku means fleas, yeah. lele means jumping. Gotcha, gotcha. You mentioned your ukulele school, ukulele hale. How has the ukulele impacted the lives of your students? Uh, you know, the ukulele truly is my best friend. And so I tell my students that, hey, again, if you're going through some tough patches in life, you can always pick up that ukulele. Um, and it's gonna bring some peace, some joy. And, you know, it's opportunities like these festivals that get us on stage, get us sharing our love and passion for this instrument, for music, for the Aloha spirit, and share that with the world. Um, so as much as technology and social media connects us, unfortunately, it disconnects us. But there's something that's so special about holding this instrument that's tangible, that's organic, that's pure. And so it just makes me happy when my students can pick up that ukulele, play for their parents, play for their grandparents, for their neighbors, for the community. Um, it just, again, it just makes me happy. So can anybody play the ukulele? Todd, Todd, anybody can learn the ukulele. We'll get you started, we'll get you on stage today. <laughs> anybody, I'm all thumbs. Let's go. Let's, let's see. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Again, Jody, that was a good time. Thank you so much. A lot of fun. You know, you did an amazing job. Thanks for joining Ukulele Hale on the big stage. Told you you can do it. I tried, I tried. But hey, remember, it's not Uku Boy, it's Uku Boy. Uku Boy spreads fleas, but the only thing Uku Boy spreads is Aloha. Aloha. Woohoo! Big mahalo to Amy Hammond of the Hawaii Ukulele Festival and Jody Kamisato for sharing their joy of ukulele with the world. I'm Todd Nagata, and this is the American Dream Hawaii. Thanks for watching. All right.